what I'm going to talk about now is the four Bergens that I own or rucksacks if you like they're overnight rucksacks and um, what I'm going to do is give you an overview of each one and then talk about um, the ones I like the best and the ones I like the least and the reason I'm doing this is because you don't need to own four Bergens you only need one and um, instead of doing what I done and upgrading and trying to get a better one and making a few mistakes you know you can listen to this what I say and give you an idea of what you want to buy you know so um, the four Bergens are the British Army PLCE by Combat Tactical uh, Combat spelt with a K uh, then you've got the Burgo Cyclops 2 Vulcan which is an old one of it I've had for years uh, and then you've got the Carrymore SF Sabre 75 litre and then the Carrymore SF Sabre 60 to 100 litres okay so uh, let's go and have a look at them and see which one's the worst and which one is the best Okay, the British Army PLCE Bergen. Right, uh, the PLCE stands for Personal Load Carrying Equipment. Now it's got an internal uh, aluminium frame and it's a branded by Combat Tactical, which they've got their little tag there and it's also on the, the buckles there. Um, it's a full spec of the British Army Bergen, so it's military grade. And I've used these before and it does seem like that. Uh, it's a thousand denier material. It's really, um, really tough. Very thick, this particular one. And uh, it's also um, it's like a water repellent sort of material, like soft. Uh, soft, it's like, a, like a, it's not cloth. It's more sort of like a plasticky, you know. Now, the Bergen has got this internal liner as well, right the way through it. This green inner bit. To make it more waterproof whether it's waterproof i don't know it's actually advertised as shower proof and also there you go, it's on the inside of the side pockets as well you can just about see that and it's in on the on the body as well and this this pocket here and the top of this pocket here okay so um let's go through it's got a top pocket on the top of the lid there. I expect you've all seen this before, really. They're very popular. With a zip on the side, that's fine. And then you've got another pocket underneath, a very bellow pocket that bellows downwards. It's got a zip, zip closure with these nice little, little cords to help you hold it if you've got gloves. And then the body is 100 litres and the side pouches are 10 litres each. Okay, now it's pretty bomb proof and it's, it's a good choice. But, oh, by the way, it comes with a yoke as well or like straps that you can put the side pockets together. You can take them off and zip them. Put the zips down the side there. You take take them off zip them together and make a 20 litre day sack and you've got straps or what what they call a yoke that you can use to put it together um so uh, i haven't brought it today i put it somewhere i don't know where it is now it's also got this pocket here what it's used for i don't honestly know whether it's for like crampons or what have you i don't, I don't know to be honest but you can use it for anything you want really now, I'll just go through, yeah, that's what the back end looks like. It's got a carrying loop there. It hasn't got one on the other side. And that's what it looks like. The strap, the padding on the hip belt is quite minimal, but just about adequate. And the straps here seem fine. Same as usual. The little buckle on the top you can pull in pull a pull a strap in um right things i don't like about this rucksack first up this bit here 
sticks out more than it's stitched together across there. So when you close the, the, the lid, it sticks out a bit like that. See, they've made it sort of, without the holes being in this material here, this gator, I think it's a snow gator, is, um, is sort of inside there. So it's all right, it's just that when you close the lid like that, it just sticks out. And you can tuck it in, okay, but it's just something I didn't like really. And also, the, this, the pad in here is also almost non-existent. I mean, there's a tiny, tiny bit of pad in there, and there's no pad in there. So what I've done is put a roll mat, an old roll mat, well, I bought a roll mat, and um, there's a pocket on the inside you can get at the get at the internal frame and uh, if i can just get at it there it is there there's a pop button there pop button there snap button if you like and one there and you can open that up I'll do that and there you go, there's the frame, the aluminium frame, and I've put padding, and all, uh, like a bit of a roll mat cut down to size, okay? So that's what I had to do with this. So there you go, that's that. I didn't like that, really, but it's just little things, it can be cured. But the worst thing I dislike about this rucksack, and it's pretty bad, really, is you've got to realize with with rucksacks they they're like clothing there's they come in sizes and if it's the wrong size it's it's virtually worthless now i know from experience that this rucksack fits me but this particular brand changed things a little bit if you look very closely there's a gap there of about just over an inch okay I didn't notice that when I bought it because the, the 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 genuine issued Bergens that bit there is right down the bottom there okay so when I put this Bergen on this top bit here is just touching my the, the my bottom ribs okay so uh, and I wasn't happy really it, it just about fits me with a bit of weight in it it sort of goes down i loosen these off a bit and uh it it fits then you know but i was really disappointed with that it's a brilliant bergen and it lasts for years really robust and part of the part of the you feel part of the environment with this bergen it's tough basic it does everything okay but you've got to realize with this particular brand they've left off an inch there and if that the length of that back doesn't fit you properly then you might as well sell it you, you know it's no good and this particular i'm five foot nine and this particular bergen just about fits me just about it's almost worthless you know so uh there you go there's little little problem there but the genuine ones, the genuine issue ones, actually fit me better because this bit is down there. And also on my one of my other videos where I was wearing this Bergen, and I was with a blind lady, lady a mate of mine, which is a blind woman called uh, Lisa. We went out on the Dartmoor. Um, what I had to do it was to bend the frame on the inside, the aluminium frame, because because that is there, the aluminium frame was sticking down like that, okay, with that gap, and it was sticking into my top of my ass, and it wasn't very good, and it was a little bit uncomfortable and not, not that good for this day and age. So what I'd done, I just got it. I, well, I took it out at first, but it didn't quite. I couldn't get it back in. So while it's in there, I just grabbed it like this. And just bent it round 
so it's like um a, so it's it's pointing downwards so it's sort of in like that and then it's pointing down at an angle okay just as much as you need so that then goes that this is around my waist and this is sort of around my ass if you like so uh yeah so to, to make it more comfortable and then i sort of sort of grab the frame up here and uh and just bent it over as well so it's bent over about there just to sort of fit my um tops of my shoulders to make it better so it's something i had to do but uh brilliant rucksack and what have you but if you're over five foot nine don't fucking bother but this this was really bad to be honest with you that should be down there you know i'm it almost was worthless because it didn't fit me you know that touching the tops of my ribs or the the bottom of my ribs i should say is well i don't expect that right so um yeah so that's just the worst thing about it okay otherwise it's a brilliant rucksack you know so it's a shame about that never mind right let's have a look at the other ones and the next up is the Burgo Cyclops 2 Vulcan. Now this uh, rucksack has um, an internal frame where it's made of aluminium and it's a thousand denier material. And also it's got a size on the top there. Now that's my size is two and I'm five foot nine. Okay, and that fits me perfect. So, um, so there you go, there's the size. Uh, it comes in sizes one, two, and three, and four, and it's all about your, how tall you are, okay? Now, it's got nice padding here, and it's well stitched together, of course. Um, and you've got this little gap here for your spine and a bit of air go th going into it. I suppose not much, really, but uh, it works a little bit. And you've got the usual straps. It's nice, a curvature shape. And it goes all the way sort of quite down low so that's quite nice and i always pull them in together with these straps on the top okay just pull them in now the, the waist belt is nicely padded as well and also it's got a good buckle that doesn't slide or anything and it's got a little bit of sort of cinch in there on the outside of the outside of the hip belt as well um now something i've done in the past uh, is what I've done here is put another strap across there. I've sewn it on myself. It's a bit rough and then put this carabiner this play carabiner Hang it like this. And what I used to do is put a zig bottle One of them bottles with a we can put your finger through the loop and turn the turn the lid off to, uh, And do it to have a drink and I used to put the, the lid through there the little top through there and then put the round water bottle through this sort of uh, elastic that's fixed onto that loop there, you know, so on the bottom loop there. So, and yeah, I used to have uh, like, a, like a water bottle hanging down there. And I did the same on the other side. I could have two water bottles if I wanted to. So uh, that's that. It's got a carrying handle there, and it's got one on the other side as well. And it's got a bit of cinching straps there to bring the lid down. I used to put a roll mat going through there or some, I can't remember now. I've had this rucksack so long. I think it was a roll mat or um, maybe a small tent. I can't remember now, but you put, you put something through there. Okay, and it, you can stand up straight without your neck arching down as well. So, uh, well, that's, the, that's that end. Let's have a look at the back end. Right, it's got a, a nice pocket on the lid there, if I can get, get at it, with, with a zip, there you go, it's not too bad. Oh, it happens, yeah, uh, <laughs> um, and that's what it looks like, and it closes with a zip. Uh, I put these little tab, these little bits of paracord on. So that's no big deal, I suppose. And uh, there's the name. 
Spurgos Vulcan 2, uh, Cyclops 2 Vulcan, and you got your, oh, I, I've, right, I've actually fixed the lid down using the ice axe loops, okay, because this is an expedition rucksack, okay, it's 100 litres, and some people think, oh, well, I won't buy that because, um, it's, a, it's an expedition. I'm not going on an expedition. I'm just Joe Bloggs, you know, going on, off, off on the weekend. But you can, you know. You don't have to fill it up. You can use it. Now, the reason I've put it, put this, the, the, these straps that hold the lid down through the ice axe loops is because the stitching stops there. Okay, you can't get past that. So, if you haven't got much in it, like I never used to carry much, I was really basic years ago. I used to just fix it on, fix that on, <coughs> strap it down like that, and when that was all the way down like that, it, it, it wasn't enough, it was all floppy. So I used to do this instead, okay? And it used to be down sort of quite low like that and it was still comfortable okay so there you go you can do that it's possible now this one has got a little extra sort of uh, compartment underneath that you don't have to use it as an extra compartment you can actually um, you can cinch it up on the inside or undo it it's up to you Okay, there it is. It can be undone. So it can be one big compartment or a large, a big compartment there and a little bit on the bottom. Okay. So you don't have to, it, it can be either one or the other. And it's nice heavy duty zip as well that keeps it like that. Now, um, oh, by the way, these, these odd looking flat had hard plastic back in here with that strap there and it did have a strap on there as well same on the other side and actually same just underneath well just above the, the pocket got the same they you can use them for whatever you want but they are actually for skis okay the fixed skis on and uh, yeah, so um, a sort of a interesting feature. And also with these pockets again, you can unzip them and there's a strap that's with them. I'll do the other side. There you go, there's a strap that's with it. That you can it's like a shoulder strap so you can have a uh, a day sack if you like of 20 liters 10 liters each and also when you fix them on you got to fit you've got to put them at the strap through and then back through where it came from otherwise it'll slide out okay so that's what you got to do with that and then th that will never move then so uh, what do I think about this rucksack? Well, I think it's one of the best. It's absolutely brilliant. What, what could go wrong? You know, there's nothing go wrong. I, I've had this rucksack about 15 plus years, used it a lot and uh, it's never let me down. It's absolutely brilliant. So um, yeah, and Burghouse were the pioneers of this sort of rucksack. They were the first. And um, yeah, they, they, it's, they're absolutely brilliant, you know? So uh, there's nothing, nothing I don't like about this rucksack, nothing at all. Okay, so uh, let's have a look at the next one. Just a little thing I, I didn't mention about the Burghaus Bergen. Last I knew, um, Burghaus had a a lifetime guarantee on straps and zips and I don't know whether that still holds 
but I did actually renew one of my zips years ago, not on this one, but a different one. And uh, yep, yeah, they renewed the zip. So uh, yeah, so there you go, it's just something I forgot. And next up is the Carrymore SF Sabre 75 litre. Now the internal frame is aluminium, I believe, and it's like, it's called an F formation internal frame. Whatever that means, I'm not really sure. It's got YKK zips throughout, and the main compartment is 75 litres, hence the name 75. And uh, the two side pockets are 12 and a half litres each. So a bit bigger than the last ones. Uh, it's, it's a thousand denier material, so nice tough stuff. And also uh, it's got a, a slight PU coating on the reverse to help it be uh, water repellent. And also uh, it's, it's, like a, it's got a rot proof thread as well whatever that means, um, whether it's really compatible to, for the jungle or hot areas, I'm not really sure, okay, but it's a rot, it's made with rot proof thread. Um, and also, it's, the, t the lid is helmet friendly, okay, helmet sort of friendly, I think it's, it's because it's got a strap on the inside. Um, now the padding is real nice, it's got um, sort of, what do you call it? airflow sort of netting type padding and it's got this gap here in the middle for your for um, your spine and what have you and for a little bit of air to go through as well so that's real nice um, straps are nice plenty of padding there he's got these d-rings as well whatever you want to use them for and again I pull the tops in like that so it's sort of up and down up and down like that okay um, and the straps are really good nice and thick and the, sh the waist belt nice thick padding again sort of ventilation padding with all the little holes and um, it's got this nice no it's got a bit of cinching on the edge here as well bring it in and it's got these thick, these thick ropes fixed to, fixed on the outside. Now I, I just use this and put my hat on it. You know, I just put my hat on that. But um, I think you could use it for an ice axe for easy access. And there's one on the other side as well. So I think that's what that's for. But it's really good and uh, really really well made. And there's a little bit of cinch in there, strap cinch in to bring the material in, okay? I've never really put anything across there. I don't think you could really. So I'll just cinch that back down. And it's got a little carrying handle there. Let's have a look on the other side, if I can unhook it from the branches. Right. Now, I've got a couple of straps there. I never use these straps because it closes up the, the pocket on the top lid. But, uh, oh, let's, have a, let's turn it around again. The top lid is very generous, I have to say. If I can undo the zip. There we go. Let's see if I can get a better perspective on it. There you go. It's, it's really generous. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, it's halfway up my arm. So there you go. Big old top lid there. And then, no, I'll leave that. And then I'll turn it around. Uh, I've put that on. That's that's from my the last Bergen actually to make a to make some sort of uh, carrying handle on the other side. But it doesn't come with this. Now you've got these loops coming down. So you could sort of put a roll mat or something, whatever you want to put on there. And also, there's the name there, 75, see the 75. Now these straps here, taking that one off. 
they go on the outside and go through the loops there. So that's that's all right. I quite like that. Now this, when I bought it, <laughs> this is actually the chest strap. I I when it came through the the post years ago, it was broken, so I put the chest strap on there. So a bit of an improvise. And I actually cut, it came with a middle strap as well, but I actually cut it for some reason. Don't know why, I wish I never did that now. So um, that is supposed to go through that loop. So I think it didn't really line up properly, so I used this one instead. So, but I wish I never did that. So it's also got a little pocket, a very flat pocket that goes down the outside of the body there. I'll just see if I can show you a bit better. Whatever you want to use that for, you can you know, use it for anything really. It's not the main compartment, it's outside of it. Oh, you're upside down, there you go. I actually put a, a mill, back, mill bank bag in there, so it's out of the way when it's wet. So that's that. And uh, it's got these ice hacks loops on the bottom that can be adjusted with this buckle as well to where you want it to be. And uh, I mean, you could put an axe through that as well. Put the handle through and the axe's head is sticking out and then you upturn it like that. Put the handle, fix the handle on a, you have to get another strap and fix the handle on one of these, okay. So uh, yeah, so that's that's the um, Carrymore SF Sabre 75. Uh, what can I? What else can I say about this? I've used this lately in my older age, if you like, and I like it. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing I don't like about it at all. Okay. Um, oh, it's got little pockets as well on just underneath there you go and they're very generous underneath on the body on the side of the body there they're very generous and do that i tell you what these these this particular rucksack quite smells it smells of the rot proof material whatever or rot proof thread or something it's got a certain sort of smell about it it's nice it's all right but there, anyway, there's the pocket, and it's very generous. Look, it goes from there to there, right across from zip to zip, and sort of, you know, it's, it's massive. You know, so there you go. And it's the same on the other side. So, uh, and it's held together with not only zips, uh, you've got these buckles as well. These quick release buckles, two on the top, two on the bottom. Okay, that's a standard design these days of these rucksacks, I suppose. And uh, also, it's all all falling apart now. Yeah, I'll see if I can organise myself a bit. Undo this, just to show you that it has also a pocket on the inside, and it's quite generous as well. One of these bladder pockets. It's massive, it is. It stretches from right over that, that side to right over to that side. And it's it's massive. You can that's all I can say about that. Well, let's have a look at the fray. Oh, I've put a I put a bit of pad in there for some reason. I don't know why. I think I use it as a seat. I've never used it as a seat, but I've I've sort of, yeah, I don't need it. Don't need it. You don't need the padding on this one. I think I put it. I put it in there to use it as a seat. I never. I never have actually used it. <laughs> okay. There. You go. So that could be done as well. <laughs> um, and it, it's got a strap going over. That must be. That might be something to do with the helmet because it says on the on the advertisement that it's helmet friendly it's got a helmet friendly lid so that might be something to do with it i don't know anyway it's got that nice mesh as well 
on underneath there, which I do use. I put my towel in there so it doesn't smell. And they camping type towel. So there you go. That's the Carrymore SF Sabre 75. There is nothing there is nothing bad I can say about this rucksack. It does everything it says on the tin. There's not a blemish, a bad blemish about it. So there you go. And I wish I never cut these bits because I'm a bit silly like that. Uh, there you go. That's that's that Bergen. Brilliant. And next up is the Carrymore SF Sabre 60 to 100 litres. Now a big old rucksack this is. And uh, I'll just basically say um, it's rough. It's the same spec as um, this, the Carrymore SF Sabre 75 litre. The one that you've just seen. Okay, so I'll just quickly go through it. It's, you know, it's basically the same. It's just slightly different in design. Um, there's more padding on the shoulder straps. It's quite very padded, the shoulder straps, actually. And you can pull them in like that. So it's sort of like that. I always do that. And you've got your, your back pad in there. It's nicely perforated for a bit of ventilation. And you've got the gap there for your spine and a bit more ventilation going up, if you like. And the same on the hip belt. And it's got the D buckles, D ring buckles there as well. Uh, on the outside of the hip belt, it's nice and robust and it's got a bit of a cinching thing going on there as well to pull it in a bit and the same, you know, it's got a bit of cinching on the top there with the carrying handle as well, same as the last one I'll just quickly do, just show you so you don't repeat really and it's got the zips for the side pockets same side pockets, they will fit the um, carry more SF 75 litre because it's the same company, same thing, and nice big, very generous pocket there on the side, and it's all the same on the other side as well. This one has got like a bellow zip on it, so you can undo that zip, very chunky zip there, and uh, sort of undo it, and it sort of makes the rucksack bigger again okay well i'm not gonna i won't use that but it's just a sort of there you go just allows it to bellow out and you know i don't know whether you could fit anything in there as long as it's long and thin we well put a i suppose you could put a ferro rod in there or something like that if you really wanted to there's no need so there you go that's the bellow zip and I think, I'm not sure, but to get it down to 60 litres, what you do, I, I'm not sure about this, is I think you do this, is um, you get the two zips on the edge there, going down, and you zip them together like that, and it flattens the whole thing. And I presume that is what's called a 60 litre. Now you knock it down to 60 litres. Okay, there you go. So it makes it more thinner. There you go, and that's just fatten it out. So there, that's so it's basically the same as the last one, but it's a bigger rucksack with a bit more padding and slightly different design. Also, with the back end of this, it's adjustable. It's an adjustable back there with the buckles there and there, and you can make the the length longer. So if you're tall, you can make it longer. And if you're my size, you can make it shorter, right? But I'm five foot nine, and that is on the shortest, uh, shortest length. So if you're f shorter than five foot nine, this rucksack will not fit you, as far as I'm concerned. So uh, there you go. Another very generous top lid pocket, big old chunky zip, brilliant. So. That's that bit, and back end here, or yeah, no, front end, back end. Anyway, there's the difference, one of the big differences between the last one is there's a separate compartment here. There's the zips, and you can undo it, if I can undo it with one hand. 
and then what you can do you can also cinch that up on the inside as well and so you can have one big compartment or you can have a big compartment there and a slightly less big compartment there so that's up to you and also you've got these loops here they're more tougher than on the last one I believe they're crampon loops to fix crampons on I think but not really sure and also this rucksack is reinforced with bar tacks as well okay now uh, what do I like and dislike about this rucksack well um, there is nothing wrong with this rucksack it's absolutely brilliant right generally saying it's it's there's nothing wrong with it at all but personally I don't use it much because it's too big that's the only thing wrong but it's just a personal thing to me it's too big okay it's it's a hundred liters you know on that main compartment and with the side pockets as well which you don't have to put on it's another uh, 25 litres, you know, 12 and a half litres there, 12 and a half litres there, 12 and a half, 12, 12, 24, yeah, 25 litres, <laughs> got to check, <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, I suppose it's got these loops here, and, you know, ice axe loops, oh, there they are, there's the ice axe loops, or ski loops, or whatever you want to call them, you know, you put your skis, you put your skis in like that, and the little cap, fits over there over the top this bit is goes into the ground and then you fix it up a bit up here somewhere so there you go ice axe loops or uh, wood axe loops or ski loops whatever you want to call them you know they're normally ice axe loops they're called but uh, there you go so uh, there's nothing wrong with it it's a brilliant rucksack but it's for me it's just too big I suppose if I use this rucksack, if I was going to use this rucksack, um, I'd use it in the winter because it's it's slightly pear shaped. It's fatter on the bottom than it is at the top. Just slightly pear shaped, and um, you can put a winter sleeping bag in there nicely. So you know, instead of a little summer type or or um, you know, fair weather rucksack sleeping bag so yeah you, you know brilliant rucksack but it's too big for me but you know if i was going to use it i'd use it probably for winter just to sort of get the sleeping a big sleeping bag in there so there you go and it's a uh, very military sort of spec and mil military looking so yeah brilliant certainly well it's brilliant for me so there you go that is the Carrymore SF Sabre 60 to 100 litres. Oh, I forgot to say about the uh, 60 to 100 litre Carrymore SF. It comes with a rain cover as well. So this is what the side pockets look like when they're zipped together to make a little day sack. This is the Burgo Cyclops 2 Vulcan and there's the zip going down. And there's a little sort of Velcro strap holding the zip together as well to keep it keep it held together. Now the straps are very simple on this. They uh, they fix on the buckles on the top, on the not the outer one. It's the inner one on that one, and same on that side. It's not the outer one on that side. It's uh, this one. And the way you put the material uh, the strap through the buckle is you put it through normally and then you fold it back and fold it in where it just came from like that otherwise it'll slip through and the same on that one and the same down here but down here they're on the outer ones okay not these two and the same with that one it's on the outer one and as simple as that really good and that's what it looks like on the other side. There's the zips. The, the zips actually have got a burgos on the zips, but they but actually they're good good zips. 
So that's what it looks like on that side. And the, uh, the carry more SF Sabre system, sim very similar. You've got the two pockets together and the zip in the middle. Going up the middle and there it is on the top. And with this one, you've got your quick release buckle. So you've got the one on the edge there, but you use, same again as the other one, you sort of use the inner ones, okay? Like that, and then there's the outer one, you just leave fl flapping away. And with this one, it's got, um, well, it's got like this back piece, but then you've got your, oh, it's fixed on the bottom bit, it's fixed. The strap is fixed on the outer one and not the inner one, not this one. And also the same here, it's fixed on the outer corner and not the inner ones because there's, there's the two inner ones and it's holding this mesh sort of uh, sort of back bit down and also it's got a, a waist belt there it is there I'll just undo it and it goes around your waist so that's the that's what they look like I'll just turn that round that's what it looks like on the other side and just to quickly say, uh, the British Army Bergen um, system is exactly the same as this. So can the side pocket of the Carrymore SF system fit the Burgos Cyclops 2 uh, Vulcan? Yes, it can. Perfectly. There you go. So that means the Burgo Cyclops 2 Vulcan side pocket can fit the Carrymore SF system. So can a British Army PLCE side pocket, genuine issue, fit the Carrymore SF system? Yes, it can. It can fit perfect but these these little quick release buckles on the top that you fix together are really tight I'm not going to take it anymore because I got a job getting it back out <laughs> you give it got to give it a good pull there you go so they're a bit tight, but they do go in. So yeah, a genuine, at least an old version of the genuine PLCE Bergen side pocket fits the Carrymore SF. So can these three side pockets, the genuine British Army PLCE side pocket, the Burgo side pocket and the Carrymore SF side pocket fit the Bergen of the combat tactical version of the PLCE. No, they don't go on. You can get the zip in the slot, but the zip won't go up. So they don't fit. And the Carrymore SF has got this type of side pocket as well. It's like a, a couple of satchels, a couple of satchels, sort of one there and one there. That's what it looks like, sort of a square thing like that. And it's got a bit of Velcro there if you want to use it. And then you can fix them down with these quick release straps. And it's got the zips on the side. And you can also put the other one beside of it, zip, zip it together and use it as a strange sort of sexual day sack of some sort and when it's on the rucksack it looks sort of a bit like that and there you go it's fixed on with the two quick release buckles on the top there and the old zip down there and uh, also these straps going over well, you can tuck them away like that if you want.
underneath same with that one out the way look better when it's uh, all bulk bulked out and also I failed to mention but on this Carrymore SF 75 litre it's got a little pocket on the flap there for an axe you can put, it goes all the way down it's open on the end there as well so you can put your axe down slot it down and the head would sort of face out like that I suppose and uh, yep it's the same on the other side and I just like to say in the early 1980s my first rucksack was a Burgo Cyclops rock it was brilliant okay but it was actually a DPM camouflage as well but the second one I got when I joined the army was this one <laughs> The large pack, which is part of the 58 pattern webbing, and it's a load of crap. Your sleeping bag went on the top there, and these straps, a spade sort of got fixed in there. Your helmet fixed on with these straps down to these buckles, and your back fitted its shape. And this went onto the shoulder of the webbing. God, what a fucking difference. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching this far. Like, share, subscribe if you want. I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something from it. That's what it's about, really. And um, stay safe. Have a nice life and all that. So cheers.